So I've uh, done a lot of videos about uh, kind of more, the more technical side of uh, production, but I think uh, there's a lot to be said for uh, a smart approach to the psychological, I guess, emotional side of production. Um, and because it really does feed into creativity uh, in a big way. Uh, creativity isn't purely a, uh, a, a technical uh, phenomenon. So I think one, um, one of the, the things that's really helped me um, over the last few years uh, be more productive is the acceptance that uh, it will feel like work sometimes. Um, it's, uh, I think, a, a bit of a fantasy that um, you know, artistic expression will always be this relentless fucking joygasm, but because it, you know, it often really isn't. Um, and and whereas the first four, six, eight hours, um, you know, when you when you start on a track, might be this very explosive, very fluid um, kind of you know series of uh, creative moments. Um, there's almost inevitably a, a point uh, at which, during, during pretty much any track, um, there's always a point at which you just have to grind out the technical aspects of, of making it sound, um, uh, making it sound as good as possible. Doing, doing that great idea that you were super, super burned up about um, justice uh, from, 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 a, uh, from an engineering standpoint. So I think just being ready over the course of you know, the creative process, being ready for it to at some point feel like work uh, is important um, to, you know, not, not to get discouraged by the fact that it, that it does feel like that and the fact that that's a necessary part of the process. Um, I think uh, another one is um, trying to strip away a lot of the inhibitions, um, trying not to, um, to emulate people too closely or feel that it has to sound a certain way for it to be okay. I mean, really, there are there are no rules, um, and and so uh, I think it's important to put as few limitations on uh, the sound that you come out with as possible. And just because uh, and you know, don't wait for someone else to do to do a certain thing, to put a certain combination of sounds together for, to, to like okay it for you, like you okay yourself. If you think something, you know, you're like, oh, that's a, that's a bit weird, but why not, you know, go, go with that. You don't need um, uh, the, the fewer restrictions we have on the way we explore our creativity, the better. Because um, yeah, really nothing is off, off limits at all. Um, and then another one is, is talk to your peers. Um, talk to whoever you can um, about about what you're doing. Get feedback from from people you like and people you respect, uh, and that will go a long way to um, to to seeing you be more successful and, and be you know with your tracks feel happier about them because it's it's um, it's easy to kind of work in a vacuum, um, and uh, and I think that. Uh, it's important. It's as important for people to to call out, uh, you know, what you're doing right as it is to to call out what you're doing wrong. I think sometimes when you're working on stuff for a long time, you can be like too close to it to get uh, to get a proper amount of perspective. Um, and I know for me personally, uh, I find it very easy to get eighty five percent of the way into uh, into creating a track. Um, but really, um, go back to my initial point about it feeling like work, getting, getting that last bit done. Um, I will often take stuff, send stuff to, to friends of mine um, and get their feedback. And if, you know, if, if they're excited about it, um, then that usually gives me the impetus to, uh, to really do the, the fine tuning and, and uh, put the, the, the last layers of polish on it um, so that I can you know, consider it a finished track and start, start approaching labels with it. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a big, uh, definitely a psychological game to, to quite a great extent.
So, um, yeah, I hope you found those bits helpful.